What's up guys, it's G. Um, I wanted to do a little bit of an update on my DBXLE I'm working on. I got uh, the new fans hooked up, man. They are sounding pretty damn wicked. We got some Yai Racing um, 40 by 40 Signal 10 fans. Let's see if I can find the bag. Should have had that sitting here, but um, either way, I got the fans installed. I just wanted you guys to hear this, man. There's the new shroud I made for the DBXLE out of aluminum. And I just mounted the two fans right next to each other. I got to come up with something better for this because I think these are going to get bumped and end up hitting the fans and not uh, allowing the blades to spin. Um, let's give it a plug in and see what it sounds like. That sounds pretty wicked, huh? Really got some power to those fans. You can see it's like blowing the a thick shop towel well over there. I think it'll actually help pull the, that one battery right there some too, you know what I mean? That is wicked. I'm like very impressed with this. All I'm doing is just holding my arm up here with this piece of paper towel. Try to give you a better view of what I'm doing. That's pretty wicked. I'm liking it. I'm liking that new mount and stuff too, man. It's pretty slick. I can turn these off. That's going through the receiver too. I'm going to hook those up so I, through a wide connector and just hook that little lipo up to it. And then secure the lipo somewhere, you know, on the chassis somewhere. But, uh, That new mount's pretty wicked in the back. That clamp worked out really well. Better look at it from this side. I don't know if I showed you guys that chassis wrap I did on the top. Pretty cool. I don't know how long it's gonna last. It's not the greatest of quality. Got it off an eBay seller and I wasn't quite happy with it, but there's the Max 5 ESC mounted up in there. As you can see the other side of that, that little shroud I made for it. <clears throat> I just got the servo sitting there. I wanted to test it out. Um, but I'm waiting on the uh, FID push-pull steering servo saver for this at... Uh, I'm waiting for that to come in so I can hook it up. Um, what else am I waiting on? I think that's pretty much it, man. I got the disc and stuff all together over here. I remain plastic. Um, bulkheads and stuff are still plastic. That's pretty much like butter, huh? FID diff housings in there. Get that ready to go on. I use DGI one inch wheel extenders. If you guys have any experience with um, the wheel extenders, the pin is no longer captured by the wheel. So you have to, it comes with an O ring, but I've had that center grub screw come loose before and it allowed that pin to come out. 
and the wheel hex, the lug nut, and the wheel all came off. <laughs> so I used mechanics wire in that little groove down in there. Just twist it off. Never lost a pin since. Um, I'm using uh, HPI Ball uh -huh, Hostile boots on here. Um, they work pretty well. They're thicker. I'm actually in the process of making some. Um, I'm gonna make some rock guards for this. So I'll make a video on that here in a little bit. I actually have the uh, the drawings and whatever made up for it. That's the rear one. Ready to go. I'm gonna get the shocks together. Right, there's the front one. Basically the same deal. Plastic bulkheads, plastic shock tire, plastic arms. Um, rebuilt the diff. New bearings, rubber sealed bearings. And again, I used those uh, hostile boots on there. So. Oh, here's the charger I use, guys. It's a pretty beasty charger. The only thing I don't like about it, it doesn't, uh, doesn't do the the high voltage light bows and it doesn't um show you uh internal resistance but this charger work, works really well four port you can charge it up to 10 amps per channel uh, it's just those light bows i use in the x max um it's pretty much it with this guys we're pretty much there like i said i'm just waiting on some parts for it man so I can slap her back together. I'm going to go ahead and get some new boots for the center shafts too. Um, get that push pull. It should be here this week. So hopefully by next weekend I'll have it back together. But a chassis wrap turned out pretty good. I did my best to get these lined up, man. You know, because I actually wrapped that, that brace part too, you know. And I tried my best to get it lined up. And if you look at it from certain angles, it's like three-dimensional. It's kind of interesting. So, all right, guys. Um, appreciate you guys watching, man. I know I'm throwing a lot of these maintenance videos up, but it's freezing cold here in Pittsburgh. So, um, if it's cold, you know, cold enough that the ground's frozen, I don't care. I'll go out there and mess around but if it's all muddy and like swampy it's like what's the point then you go out there and freeze and your feet are all wet your RC gets all muddy you gotta hose it off da 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 so all right guys well appreciate you guys watching thanks